All right, all right, you guys got me, all right? So I had a heavily requested additional video on how to build an online course in Wix, that mini series I did last week, and that is how to add modules to your online course in Wix. That was by far the most asked question or comment on that video. Listen, it is Friday. We are in quarantine, April 3rd. I've got my beer shirt on. Hey, I'm not saying this is always the way to go into the weekend by any means, but what I am saying is we're in quarantine. Go out there, schedule those Zoom virtual happy hours with your family, and just de-stress after a week of quarantine and uh, just a lot going on, media overload. So that would be my advice. But hey, I wanted to show you how to add modules to your online course in Wix and how I would go about it. So I would kindly ask that you join me in today's video and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Much appreciated. Let's dive in. Okay, so last time we left off, we ended here, which was just a course tab we added to our members pages, which is just a repeater with a video title and a video. However, what I need to make sure is clear is if you're planning to have modules for your course, what I would recommend is you plan that out prior to building or developing because we went one way on here. But if you're building out modules, I would recommend having a database for each module. Now, obviously, it does matter on whether or not, or depend, excuse me, on whether or not uh, you're going to have a lot of different variables of content in that module and how much content you're going to have in a module. But I would still recommend breaking each module into its own database. And then what I would recommend is that each database has its own page so each module will have its own page dedicated to it and you can add the repeater content on that page so that way you can display module data so if I were to do this what I would first do is I would come back in here to content manager obviously make sure our Corvid developer tools are turned on and I would come back in here and I would create a new collection we already have course content but we're gonna pretend like we're adding modules now so create new collection and I would just name this not that module one and I would just name it module one and I'm gonna go ahead and set up custom permissions and then what I would do is who can read content from this collection we want the site members to be able to read it um, who can create content for this collection we want admin who can update admin who can delete admin because the admin is the one creating the course content and we're going to set and create collection and then what we're going to do here is we've now got um, a new database set up for module one now what i'm going to do and by the way you saw it took us into the wix dashboard you can see we're in sandbox mode this is a new feature which is working on just taking everything straight to the dashboard so we're in sandbox mode here which means we're in testing mode we're all good uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to just move forward as if we're still moving forward with a video course website. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to title this um, video title. And remember, you can't have the same field IDs. So I'm just going to name it video title, if I can spell right, mod one. Okay. And then that way the field key is different because if the field key is not different, it's going to mess up the JavaScript coding. Then you're in a world of trouble. So I'm just going to keep this a text field. I'm going to save it. Perfect. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in video mod one and I'm going to change this field type if you remember correctly to a URL and I'm going to save it and that will consist of the two fields we need to actually go ahead and build out our video course again this is bare bones strictly showing you from you know start to bare bones finish how you get the development you can add as many fields you can add as many content types as you'd like but this is showing you as if we're doing a video course so once you've got these two fields in there um, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and X that out now and we've got our additional database for module one I'm gonna go back to menus and pages and I'm gonna go to members pages again 
um, and I'm going to add a new page just like we did for this course content. And I'm going to name this. Dun, 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 dun. I'm going to name it module one. If I can spell that right, I just don't want to spell module right today. And I'm going to name it module one. Bingo. There we go. Now you'll see we've got a blank page here in our members page. Here's what I'm proposing to you. Now, there's lots of ways you can technically go about doing modules, and there's lots of layouts, losses, lots of systems. Like if you're in my Wix Training Academy website and you're in the back end actual Wix Training Academy, which if you haven't already, the link is down in the description. I recommend you do it. What you can do is you'll see when you click on a course, it'll take you through, and there's just simply one video and a title on that page, same as like this. Um, and then on there, I've got two buttons on each page. You can either go back a certain module or go to the next module. But in my case, I named each of those modules. Really, it's just one video and one title. Now, that's just a luxury I had. There wasn't much more I needed to put other than the video because all my content is video-wise. But I have mine set up where it's just you can paginate in between each module in a particular course and then once you get to the end of that course you obviously can't keep going because how I split it up is each course of mine had its own database because I split mine up in the fact that it's one course and I only had one video per module now if I had several videos and several pieces of content in each of those modules I would likely then go ahead and build out a database for each of those modules but I didn't I only had one so that's why I would recommend going and creating a page for each of your modules. So now that we're in here, we've got the members page. We're going to do exactly what we did on the course page. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back to the course page and I'm going to highlight this puppy. And I did, by the way, quick trip over or quick tip over here. You can come over to this toolbar and press copy, or you can just do control C. And then I'm going to go back to module one. And I'm going to paste that repeater to make my life a whole lot easier and more productive. So now what I've got is I've got a new repeater on this page. However, what we're lacking is a data set. We need the data set to connect the data from module one now to this uh, page. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to content manager and we're going to add content elements and we are going to add a data set and we are going to come in here go to settings. We are going to connect to module one. We are going to leave it on read only. And once again, you can choose how many number of items to display. This means this is how many number of items from the database it will display. So if you've got 12 videos in there, keep it at 12 unless you're thinking about adding. So just so you know, if you add more than 12, it's only going to display 12 in this data set. So make sure you update the data set if that's the case. Just a little tip there as well. So now we've got our data set. And just like we did on course one, I'm just going to come back here. I'm going to connect to data. And I'm going to do module one data set text connects to video title mod one. And we've got that element was successfully connected. And then I'm going to do the same thing for video. We're going to connect to data. Uh, however, I'm going to do video source connects to video mod one URL. And once again, remember, we're pulling from YouTube or Vimeo, any video existing platform. And you can go unlisted with your video on that platform. So that way you can pull the link, but it's not actually showing on that particular platform. That's the easiest way to go about it in my mind. So now what we've got here is we've got a connected module one. And just like that, you've got a new module for your course. So now instead of having just one main page for the course, you can correct or connect several pages of modules to one course. Now, if you really, really want to get more and more in depth, what you can do is you can actually, let's just say you're offering several courses. You can go ahead and uh, create one page that will take the user to the navigation for that course. And then what you can do is you can have one main course homepage after the user has paid. 
and then you can have several buttons lining out the infrastructure within that page for each module and you can have each of those buttons linked to a module page just like we did here except you do it for each course so that's another system you can use now I know there's a lot of pages modules being thrown out here I hope it's been helpful but you literally just do the exact same thing we've done except you'll create different pages for each module and depending on your case different databases for each module as well that would be my recommendation to you I believe that's most effective most efficient again you can get more complex you can change the layout you can change how you format things uh, you don't have to use member pages like this that's what I chose to use for the description of this style video, um, but that's what I would recommend. So if this video did help you out, please drop a like down below. Comment right now and let me know if it helped you out or if it you know, rose some more questions for you, which if it did, totally fine. Let me know what they are in the comments, and if I have to make an additional video, I'm happy to do so. Got plenty of time here in quarantine, but I need to know, so please let me know um, via the comments down below, and hit that subscribe button in the bottom right of this video to show the channel some love, to show your fellow Wix Nation some love, and join 35,000 plus other like-minded entrepreneurs looking to increase their impact and increase their revenue. And guys, stay healthy, stay safe, stay inside unless you have an essential item you have to go out and do. And uh, we're going to ride this wave together, but this is a prime time to be offering an online course for something you teach or something you'd like to teach because everyone is inside looking to acquire new skills, looking to make the best use of their time. So go out there and make it happen. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll catch you on our next one.